YouTube. What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. Uh, I have a quick uh, Mortal Kombat trailer teaser that was released not too long ago, and I want to do a reaction to it. It's something I've been sitting on for a minute. I want to go ahead and check this out. Um, this video shouldn't be too long. Uh, the, the trailer itself is 30 seconds, so I'm going to try to get as much as I can out of this trailer and see what I can like notice or if it has any indications of what the the um i want to say the plot and story because i don't want to be spoiled because i'm sure if you look hard enough you'll see somebody then release like a plot synopsis and you can like know what the story is, uh, is going to be but um yeah it's like an analysis of the video without looking too deep into it <laughs> um there will be some more uh, reactions and things like that. Uh, today, I'm not going to do um, my peep show reaction. I'm going to save that for tomorrow, most likely. As well as, I'm going to do a reaction to um, uh, Rick and Morty. I'm going to try to do another Rick and Morty one. And I'm going to try to do those with more consistently as well. Uh, I've heard some good things about The Invincibles, I think it's called, on um, Amazon Prime. King Rutherford really told me I should check that out so I'm thinking about giving that a look as well um, truth is there's a lot of TV shows that are coming out that I really need to check out like WandaVision uh, like there's a lot of them <laughs> anyway let me go ahead and jump into this and see what it has to offer I click play listen carefully watch learn Mortal Kombat has begun the key to doing a proper Liu Kang is the hair. You have to get the hair right. Robin Chu raised that bar pretty hard. Get over here! Mortal Kombat. In theaters and on HBO Max April 16. Rated R. Yeah. Not a lot of, like, new scenes. Not a lot of new scenes. But, um... I would say, I'm going to pause, and I don't know what's up with my internet. <laughs> um, it seems like the CGI is, is better. The CGI has gotten better since the last trailer I watched. Um, I had a feeling it probably was. Now, this movie is going to be released, I believe, the end of this, towards the end of this month, right? Sometime in April. Well, I'm sure it tells you at the end of the trailer. Oh, middle of April, April 16th. So, um, first of all, yes, I will be doing a reaction to that. <laughs> that matter of fact, that's going to be my movie of the week. Because uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar, over on my Patreon, I do movies and TV shows that are exclusive to Patreon. So, I just finished Alan Partridge. We're right now in the process of voting for a new TV show that I'm going to react to over on um, Patreon. Um, the results are already in, so the, the vote is done. I still uh, have to announce what the winner is going to be. Um, so once that's done, I'm going to start reacting to that TV show. But I do uh, movies once a week. This week I'm doing two movies. I just got done reacting to Kong Skull Island. And I'm going to be reacting to Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, I want to say sometime tomorrow. So, if you want to, if you think about signing up, it's only a dollar to get access to everything I've reacted to, from uh, Alan Partridge to The Office, the UK version, to um, extras, to all the movies I've done reactions to, like uh, the uh, World Ends, um, or what is it, A World's End, the the movie with uh, Simon Pegg. Um, I've done. Uh, the Harry Potters from it was Order of the Phoenix all the way through. I've done uh, Imbrogues or Imbrugues, I think it's called. I, I've done a ton of movies. Matter of fact, some of them I need to go back and make sure the links are still good because I think the link for um, uh, I believe the link for the Inbetweeners movies is kind of funky right now so i um, have to go and check and see if there's uh, another link that I can possibly use but I do a ton of movie reactions things like that 
So this week, I'm going to be doing those two movies. Next week, it is going to be something that Patreon votes for themselves. So whatever the movie is for next week is going to be whatever they voted for. And then the week after that, should be around this time, that's when I'll decide to do Mortal Kombat. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, just think, Mortal Kombat has been out for almost 30 years at this point, And... We have never gotten a rated R Mortal Kombat movie, which is interesting. <laughs> like that's 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 something. I mean, technically, stuff like that has been in the works. Like, there's been Mortal Kombat movies that have been developed, and like they had the 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 web series that was a thing, and I mean, I was good, but it wasn't a movie. Um. So there's been like rated R Mortal Kombat related stuff filmed, but it's just never been a, a rated R Mortal Kombat feature film. And this seems like it's going to be the first time in a long time. I mean, it doesn't matter if it was rated R or not. If you're from my generation, you were going to the theater regardless. Like, it, it did not matter. <laughs> you were going to go see Mortal Kombat, whether it was... Uh, PG-13 or if it, if it was uh, rated R regardless you were going to check it out now I'm going to be checking for all the old uh, um, story beats and things like that I want to know what's up with the like story is it going to be related to like Mortal Kombat 1 is it going into its own like completely different universe so everything I know about Mortal Kombat I should just throw it out because my expectations are not going to be met if I try to hold it up to the games. Um, so I'll just go in open minded. That's why I'll go. I'll assume that it's not going to follow the games. And if it does, I'll just be pleasantly surprised. If it's not, I already expected it. So it's not going to take too much of a hit as far as my opinion of it. Um, it does look good. Choreography looks great. Um, like I said, if you're going to do Luke Kang, you have to have the hair right. Robin Shu definitely set the bar up very high with the, with his luscious mane. You have to have, do Liu Kang right. Speaking of which, they need to bring a skin for Liu Kang on Mortal Kombat 11 that is modeled after Robin Shu. The fact that you have Shang Tsung, Sonya, Johnny Cage, and Raiden, but you don't have the main hero of the damn series, Liu Kang, played by Robin Shu, probably the best cast video game character on screen ever <laughs> you need to bring him in he's extremely important and make sure the hair is done right um yeah it's just something you have to do now as far as like scorpion and sub-zero they look great i still think they should have ed boone doing the get over here or at least someone with the same like gravitas the same bass in their voice I need I need to like if you're gonna do the get over here you gotta you gotta have some authority behind it you can't be get over here like that 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 sounds like a suggestion Scorpion doesn't suggest you have when he says get over here people get the fuck over here that's how it's supposed to be that's how everything is supposed to roll when Scorpion speaks people listen and things get done um but like I said the actor the actor himself looks great I mean as far as Scorpion and um, ah, what was his name? Hanzo. I know it's I know it's Hanzo, but I forgot his last name. Um, but the fact like the doing both of those characters, the Scorpion character and the Hanzo character, he he is perfectly casted for it. Like it it just works. Um, I would like to see just how demon he gets playing Scorpion, but. He really works with the Hanzo role. Like that, that looks almost picture perfect. Um, Sub Zero, I'm guessing this is Bihan because of how, like, cold blooded and, well, no pun intended, but cold blooded and, like, bloodthirsty he is. Um, this can't be uh, Ka uh, Kawhi Liang because, well, first, there's no scar. But then again, this is its own universe, so he probably doesn't have a scar, even if they did cast the second Sub-Zero. Um, he's not as reasonable at all. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think more. 
it's it's interesting seeing Goro just pop up. I'm wondering what the story with him is going to be. Is he still going to be the champion of Mortal Kombat? Is it going to be just like a, a CGI monster that Shang Tsung just happens to have? Is like what's the story going to be with Goro? Um, is Liu Kang going to be the main hero, or are they going to push it towards um, uh, Jackson Sonya? Is Johnny Cage going to make an appearance? Chances are probably not. Excuse me. I think that I'm willing to accept Johnny Cage being um, out of the movie as long as... Well, if, if the story's done good, the story's done good. It would be interesting. Like, I don't know. I don't know what their plans are for Johnny Cage. Um... Yeah, I just don't know what their plans are. <laughs> so, I don't really know what to expect, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe the best way to go into a movie is not knowing what to expect, because if you know everything, then there's not really anything to look forward to. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be waiting for this movie to come out. Hopefully this one doesn't sneak up on me like the other um, movies did. Truthfully, it didn't sneak up on me. I just wasn't paying attention to their release dates. And... I can get this movie out around the time it releases and, you know, just be thrilled over the fact that we have more Mortal Kombat content because as a kid, I, I grew up like loving the idea of more Mortal Kombat. Like that was my game. Um, like you had Street Fighter and everything else, but all the other ones sucked as far as movies were concerned and Mortal Kombat did a decent job with its first movie. We shall not speak of Mortal Kombat Abomination. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the deuces. I look forward to seeing you on a future video. Until then, I am Devon Da Vinci. I'm giving you the deuces, and I will see you all next time. Deuces.